So I have some good news and bad news. The good news is I have now finally finished work for the entire year. I don't have to go back for another two weeks. Woohoo! The bad news is I've only had four and a half hours sleep. Ugh. Good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? I'm actually not as tired as I've just made out. But yeah, I did have only four and a half hours sleep. I figured I didn't want to waste my day, so I got up at 11. Thing is, I didn't get to bed until about half past six, so... Oh well. I'm not gonna keep going on about that. What I will talk about is the fact that I finally finished work for the year. <laughs> I had three days spare, so I put in today, tomorrow and Friday. So I'm, I don't go back until the 2nd of January now. Brilliant. Oh, actually, something else good happened the other day. I'd just been to the cinema, and that's all I was going to do that day, just go to the cinema and then come home. But on the way home, I noticed there was a lot of traffic, so I thought, oh, I'll take a different route. And it took me to that shop boundary. And I thought, eh, I'll just pop in, you know, on a whim, just to have a look what books they've got. I didn't look anywhere else in the shop, just at the books. And guess what they had? That made me super happy. Do you remember me buying this box set of Time Riders novels? One through to five? Well afterwards I discovered that there was another four and I've been trying to get hold of them. And they're like six, seven, ninety-nine each. Well, Boundary had six, seven, eight and nine. All for two ninety-nine each. I was like, yes! <laughs> it was funny, I'd gone into the book section and I'm like, is that the Time Riders novel? And I looked and I'm like, oh yeah. And then I noticed there was another one that I'm like, Hold on a minute, and there was, they were all sort of not in the right order, so I was like, oh, seven, I must have that, and nine, I'm like, have they got eight and six, and sure enough they did. So yes, I'm very, very happy that I've got them. What I'm not happy about is, this shelf is getting way too full. I think I need to get rid of some, but at least I've got those that I'm after. Knowing me, because I plan on going shopping in Chesterfield again, I'll probably find some more books that I want. <laughs> I've been wanting to go to Chesterfield for a few weeks now. I don't know why, it just keeps playing in my brain, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've made it to Chesterfield, and already I'm noticing not only is it a bit on the cold side, but it's a bit on the breezy side. My hair's going all over. <laughs> anyway, enough about my hair, I want to do some shopping. I just realised how nice and quiet it is, because the last time I was here, that was chiming away and it was doing it the entire time I was here <laughs> not today and so far I've not had to put my mp3 player on because nobody's playing Christmas music I'm sure one of the shops will be I decided I'm hungry so I stopped off in Greg's for a sandwich decided to go for the tuna crunch don't normally have that going in my belly I'm here thinking why is it starting to go dark and then I've just looked at my watch, it's half past three. I've been all around the shops, didn't buy anything until I got to CEX. Thankfully they've saved me. I bought season two of Star Trek Discovery for 15 pounds. It's brand new this. I thought that was a bargain. Uh, I think I'm done with shopping, well, lack of shopping around here. I'm gonna head back to the car and then uh, I'm gonna head to the cinema. That was the original plan, shopping and then cinema. Blimey, I thought I was going to do that thing again when every time I come to this cinema, I make it just in time and I'm having to run in to get my ticket, blah, blah, blah. I'm here 10 minutes early. Phew, it was all that traffic that's building up. Yeah. Hopefully by the time I come out of the cinema, this traffic's gone. Another film I enjoyed. I'm just about to go outside, but it's chucking it down. It could be worse, it could be snowing. Anyway, it looks like the traffic's calmed down, so... Uh, I'm gonna go home now. Yeah, it's really bad out there. And I've just had to walk Harley in it. I'm just glad I had my umbrella. He's a bit on the wet side, aren't you? Did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah? Good. Just fed him. I need to feed myself. I'm really, really hungry. I was actually in two minds about 
whether or not to go into one of the restaurants next to the cinema or come straight home. But I remembered I've got a few meals I can choose from in the fridge so I might as well come home and have one of them. Oh, just thought I've not put my new DVD <clears throat> on the shelf. With the great big pile. <laughs> Meh, can't help myself. Uh, right, I'm gonna sign off now. But at least tonight I don't have to go to work. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I might have a few beers. Hmm. Or shall I? I don't know. I don't have to. Although that does remind me I need to stock up on my Budweiser. I've run out. Me. Yeah. I can do that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. And liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. Ooh, I've got a comment to read. Well, actually, there's quite a few, but I'm going to read out. This one on my, I believe my last vlog downtown. The ghost of the mind asks, did you get Harley a present? No, I got him lots of presents. Let me put it this way, I think I bought more for him than for my friends and family. I just can't help myself.